remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A city in America, specifically Illinois, has taken a giant step to try to begin to right one of the greatest wrongs ever perpetrated against human beings. This city has announced that they will create a reparations fund for its black community through the sale tax of marijuana. Recreational use of the drug will become legal in the state from January, and officials in Evanston, which is 12 miles north of Chicago, have voted to approve a 3% tax on the sales to fund a local reparations program. The tax is expected to generate between $500,000 and $750,000 annually for the reparations fund, which will be capped at $10 million over the next 10 years. The city's lawmakers will meet next week to determine just how the funds will be distributed. But one idea is for the funds to be used for skill training or for down payments to purchase homes in the area. The fund will be available to all of the city's black residents rather than merely those who can prove that they had ancestors who were enslaved, as long as they can meet certain residency criteria. The move comes amid a renewed national debate over whether the federal government should pay reparations to descendants of former slaves. Poland suggests that the majority of the white American public are against monetary reparations, while Donald Trump and the Republicans have been very critical of the move. I wonder why. You know, reparations is to reward someone monetarily, to make right a wrong. That's basically what it's for, you know? to make right a wrong. I think that the whole entire world can admit, would agree, that slavery was wrong and that black people were wronged. How does America make everybody else pay up and expect everybody else to pay up, but it don't want to pay up. Going back to that, do as I say, not as I do. Pay everybody but the black. Ooh, God, good Lord, don't pay them. Let's not get them nothing. It's a trip, though, because a lot of people, they don't have a problem with other folks getting paid who have been wrong, get, receiving reparations. They don't even have a problem with it. They have a problem with blacks getting it. I wonder why, 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 why do you not want to see those who have been harmed the most, those who built this country, whose, where the, the country was built off of their free labor, their blood, literally their blood, sweat, tears, dead bodies. What's the problem? Why so much hate? What did black folks ever do to you to make you, first of all, kidnap them and force them into slavery, destroy their culture, rape their women and men and boys and girls, murder millions, throw their lifeless bodies over the deck into the ocean to be eaten up by sharks, tying their limbs to horses and beating the horses and making the horses run in different directions, 
feeding babies to alligators for fun, having Sunday picnics climaxed by hangings. What the hell did black folks do to deserve it? Oh, they was just black. That's it. Because we damn sure didn't start it. Absolute, but it's just, it, it baffles the hell out of me. Even if I wasn't black, if I was just watching, just sitting back watching other people get treated like that, I'm like, man, that's messed up, man. Yeah, they, they, they deserve, they deserve uh, reparations. They deserve some righteousness. But you know how some people are, you know. They, uh, they fake like they're decent. You know, there are some people out there that, not black that that's down and say yeah man you're right you, you, you're right about it Willie D and if it shoes on the other foot I feel the exact same way and so therefore I'm with you more power to your brother go get it I'm down but then you got others who do as I say not as I do they got that type of mentality but let's address the elephant in the room they want to offer reparations, but the way to get to it is by taxing weed. Are they trying to say that? Because maybe they're doing it because so many black folks in Evanston has been arrested for weed. 71% of all of the weed cases are against black people. Black people only make up 18% a little over 18% of the population in Evanston. Let's do the math. There are 65.6% .6 whites in Evanston, 18.1% black, 9% Hispanic or Latino of, a, of any race, and 8.6% Asian. So, they have 75,000 residents. Out of that 75,000, 18.1% makes up 13,500 black residents, right? If they are to receive the $10 million, that would come out to roughly $74,000 each. Not too shabby, but way too shabby, way low. I mean, you can do you can do some you can do some damage with seventy four thousand. But I figure that that number should be somewhere in the neighborhood of a million apiece, at least a million. For all the damn pain and suffering and and the disparity in economics and 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 everything else, nah, million dollars apiece. I don't give a damn how you get it. You find a way to get money for everything else. Figure it out. That's the way I see it. Capping that at $10 million, way too low. Way too low. I'm not with it. Million dollars a piece. Everybody in Evanston, get a million dollars a piece. Get that number up. So in order to get to a million, they're going to have to raise it up to somewhere around, what is it, 100 million? No. I mean, way more than that. A million apiece. Oh, wow. Hey, figure it out. I don't give a damn. Figure it out. Y'all do the math. Y'all created the problem. Fix the problem. And all you other cities, all you other city officials and stuff, take note. Because this is a pretty good template, somewhere to start. Uh, to the officials in Evanston, hey, I salute y'all. I salute y'all. I know it took a lot to get it done. To just get to that point. I know it took a whole lot. So I salute you. Each and every one of you. You're showing the rest of America what it looks like to be a leader. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.